work on this video before uh, you press on this button here to dictate so that's what i'm gonna do so starting with chief complaint right put the cursor here in chief complaint shortness of breath for 10 days now we move to the history of present illness remember to try to um, follow your own um, your own technique your own flow on this that meets the criteria that's relevant for a uh, good documentation practice and to um, to be able to build for this so uh, for the note that I'm trying to to make which is a high acuity one we have to dictate what's called an extended HPI which means describing the disease process with four points, four bullets. So remember this OPQRST, this is a good way to, to meet this criteria because you dictate the onset, the progression, the severity, the radiation, the uh, time, context, all these, and that means the four points. And then after that, you can dictate uh, whatever else needs to be on, on your note that you think is important. So look at my style. I start with the OPQRST and then I, to, to bring more, more information to the note, I dictate what happened in the ER, why they consider uh, an admission necessary. 69 year old female patient with past medical history of diabetes, comma, kidney transplant, comma, ESRD on HD, who presents to the emergency department with the chief complaint of shortness of breath, comma, describe a severe comma for the last 10 days, comma, progressively worsening, comma, not improving despite using home medications, comma, worsening on exertion, comma, in the context of recent exposure to COVID-19 from family members that were infected, period. In the emergency department, patient was found to be hypoxic, comma, with respiratory distress, comma, had a chest X-ray consistent with bilateral pneumonia seen in COVID-19 patients. Reason why we were consulted for admission, period. Next line, next line. My social history. Patient in ice smoking, using alcohol, using Ill illegal drugs. This also goes uh, on the admission part, but I like to add it to my note uh, because it's also part of the, um, the criteria needs to be met to be able to charge um, a high acuity. Review systems, you can describe um, each of the systems and, and go through each of the systems, which you will have to do in residency, not me because I'm an attending now. So um, I can take the shortcut, which is my ROS. 14 point review system was done and it's negative except for what's mentioned in HPI. Basically saying that I went through all the 14 review systems and nothing was found to be positive except what I'm already mentioning here, which is the shortness of breath, fatigue, exertion, dyspnea. Now, moving to the physical exam, the vitals are already depicted here, which makes for one point on the physical exam. Now, you just have to meet all the other points. So also for this, you have to meet certain criteria. And I have a preset physical exam that I just call using my dragon. Seek brief physical exam. And it pulls this physical exam that says that the patient is distressed due to current condition, conversion by limited, and it puts emphasis on the respiratory part that shows decreased breath sounds bilateral, no wheezing on oxygen supplementation with labor breathing and use of accessory muscles. I'm gonna add here that she's also having crackles. Crackles bilateral coma. And that's about it. This is, uh, I'm gonna change the normal gait because she doesn't have a normal gait. I didn't evaluate it. Unable to assess gait due to weakness, coma. Now we're moving to the assessment and plan, the most important part. This all, the, what is behind it's 
it's just a way to say that you're able to do an HMP, uh, a way to say you can connect with people, you can, you can gain their trust. But now the assessment and plan is where you show really, you know, your, your worth as a physician. So acute hypoxic respiratory failure due to COVID-19 pneumonia. Next line. Diabetes type 2 with hyperglycemia due to COVID-19 pneumonia. Code gray, Kelly 6. Next line. Code gray, Kelly 6. Code gray, Kelly 6. Coma uncontrolled. Next line. Severe hyponatremia, coma symptomatic. Next line. Acute metabolic encephalopathy, secondary to hyponatremia. Next line. Acidosis due to infection process. Next line. Suspected acute kidney injury on chronic kidney disease. Oh, I forgot, she's ESRD. So, ESRD on HD. Next line. The status post kidney transplant. Elevated CRP, next line, elevated procalcitonin. Next line, troponin elevation likely secondary to demand ischemia in the setting of hypoxia, period. Next line, secondary hypercoagulable state due to COVID-19 pneumonia. Next line, next line, plan, next line. Admit to inpatient telemetry, comma, continue oxygen supplementation, next line. Start COVID-directed treatment including dexamethasone, comma, remdesivir, comma, or lumiant, next line. Infectious disease consultation in the morning, next line. Monitor sodium levels in a daily basis, next line. We'll start patient on glycemia management protocol, comma, adjust as needed to prevent hyperglycemic events. Next line, we consult nephrologist on call to resume hemodialysis while in house. Next line, they start on Lovenox 40 milligrams twice a day due to hypercoagulable state. Next line, Resume home medication once this is updated, period. So that's it, guys. That is my HMP for a COVID-19 patient. Um, and this is at an attending level. I don't have to um, to really uh, present this to any other attendants. Um, that's why I can do it in this format of listing first the, the, the diagnosis and then going straight to the plan and this is my style so you have to find what style they want in your residency program usually in residency programs they want your style to be addressing each of the problems before moving to the other one so for example it will be problem number one acute hypoxia respiratory due to, due to covid 19 pneumonia and the plan will be admit to inpatient telemetry continue oxygen supplementation and start covid directed treatment including blah 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 and then it will be different for problem number two will be diabetes type two and you have to list what you're going to do for that diabetes and then problem number three will be you have ponotremia and you have to mention in that paragraph what are you going to do for that one so that will be the only difference uh but it's something um that is important for someone that is at the uh, beginning of training level 
So, well, thank you for joining and don't forget to make comments if you have any questions and see you next time.